Vista is the Bay Center offices. And Maru, is that your project? Good evening, Planning Commissioners. Uh, the first item is a master sign program for three buildings on Christie Avenue between 64th Street, which is right here, and 65th Street, which is right here. The freeway is on this side. Uh, each building will have a primary uh, anchor tenant building ID indicated by A, and a secondary uh, tenant ID building uh, indicated by B. And then they'll have two, each building will then have two monument signs on the Christie Avenue indicated by C. Uh, the primary tenant ID, sort of, this kind of gives you an idea from both the primary and the secondary. Uh, the total, the, the span is about 38 feet for all of them, except one which is about 44 feet. And for the secondary, the span is 17 feet. Uh, the monument signs are also fairly well designed. I think it's it's a sort of a sample of the monument sign. And uh, the height is about, height right here is about f four to five feet. And the span again is about 11 feet. Uh, the way the master sign program works is that as the tenants come in, uh, the individual tenants will uh, submit their final design in terms of color and whether these uh, would be illuminated or not, and then that it'll be reviewed by staff at administrative level. And they will, uh, the staff will make sure that it's in compliance with this uh, program here in terms of dimensions and the size. Uh, staff thinks that the signs are in compliance with the design guidelines uh, in our zoning code and recommends approval. If there are any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Any questions, staff? Is the applicant going to make a presentation tonight? Are they present? Yes, they are present. Yes. Did you want to make a presentation? Uh, sure. Well, you want to come up? Sure. Come on up to the microphone and introduce yourself, please. Oh, wow. Got the whole dog and pony show. Do we need a easel for him? Well, thank you for your time this evening. My name is Brian Fleming. I'm with TMG Partners. And I'm going to talk to you about a little bit about the proposed sign program for Bay Center Office, which consists of 6425, 6455, and 6475 Christie Avenue. Um, as you probably all are aware, uh, Sidebase had been a long-term tenant occupying the majority of that space. In 2002, they vacated the premises, leaving us with just over about 200,000 square feet. They had occupied all of 6475 Christie and a majority of 6425 Christie Avenue. Uh, between them leaving and with the kind of dot-com meltdown, uh, it's been a tough uh, commercial market in getting space lease. And as we've had new tenants come and look at the space, both within Emeryville and outside of Emeryville, the one thing they can all remember is the signage that uh, Sybase had on the glass spandrels of the building. So our goal is to create a specific set of guidelines that all tenants and then, of course, us as landlord would implement to create a signage program that reflects positively on both the city and on the project itself. Uh, as Miru discussed, there's really three components to it. The first one noted as A is uh, the, the largest signage there, and it's along the glass spandrel. It's for building 6425 and 6455, uh, about 38 feet wide. And then 6475 contemplates up to about 40 feet, 44 feet wide. The signage would be up to six feet in height. And again, it's located there, uh, specified by the A of where it would exist on the building. B is what we're referring to as secondary tenant signage. And that would be located on the brick parapet of each of the three buildings. That's up to five feet in height and uh, up to 17 feet in width. And then the final component of the signage program would be what's noted as C. And as Miru said, it was the monument signage, which is 11 feet wide and up to four feet in height. So that's a quick rundown. Are there any questions I can answer? Questions, the applicant? I, this space available sign is still on. 
the corner building? Y- yes, correct? it is. And what is the leasing? How successful has the leasing been? We, how long is the space available sign going to continue to be there? Uh, well, I don't think it'll. We're optimistic that it won't need to be there that much longer. We've had decent activity. We're probably about 50% leased. And I'd be happy to work with you guys if y- you didn't want it there. I, I'm not convinced it's all that Effective. productive from a. It's more a tool for the brokers, I think, to get calls and such than actually lease the space. But it's been important. We've had, you know, as I said, we're up to 50% occupied and a decent amount of activity now as the market continues to improve. It seemed like the commission was supportive of having that sign there to help get it leased in any way. So right. and reluctantly, and uh, mm-hmm. because we we do want you to be successful. But you Thank know, you. It, it, when uh, we don't, we'd like to see it down, but not at the risk of of uh, impacting your leasing rate. So um, we're, we're, you know, we're willing to work with you on that. I appreciate that. If I had to look into the crystal ball, I, I would anticipate up to a year, and I think we'd be fairly well leased at that project. Any other questions before we uh, open the public hearing? I, I just have a uh, kind of a question of how the signage would work in the event that, for example, you, you alluded to with Sybase, when they were there, they had the entire um, 6475, the majority of 6425, and, and nothing apparently on 6455. Mm-hmm. But so if you had a tenant that was in multiple buildings, would they, would they then have signs on each of those buildings, or they would just have one I, sign? I just per, anticipate per one sign on where the majority of their occupancy okay. is w- within the project. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. With that, let's open the public hearing. Is there anyone wishing to speak on this item? This is your opportunity. If you come up and state your name, and when you're finished, if you can sign in. Do we have the sign in? Yes. It's it's right on there. I don't actually see it there. It's on the podium. It's under the podium. It's right on the. Oh, is it right in front of you there, Marceline? No. I see a piece of paper there under the laptop. That's all right. I'll write it later. Um, Marshall at Craftick 6363 Christie. I would like to ask. Oh, there we go. Like How about we put that over on the, the empty table there? Thanks. Sorry, Marcelin. Uh, I'd like to ask about the signs because I don't have a copy of the report. Um, monument signs have no problem for us, but when we look out our window to the north, uh, we once had a sign that was very objectionable, and Council, in its wisdom, uh, requested it be removed. Uh, it was a wonderful painting, a Marguerite man with a hat, but it was an enormous impact on us. So uh, are any of these signs going to be um, an eyesore for occupants of uh, PPP? The staff know how visible these signs? I assume well, some of them will be visible from some locations. I know what she's referring to. That was a sign that, first of all, never got city approval, and it kind of covered the whole building. It was huge. You could mm-hmm. see it from the freeway. That was the intent. These Made are Newsweek much, or Time magazine, as I remember. Yeah, it was something like that. These are much smaller. They're much more discreet. They're the type of sign you would expect to see on in top of any office building. They're similar to the signs that are at top of the Siebel building. I think you will be able to see them from Pacific Park Plaza if they face that direction, but I don't think they would be objectionable. Well, we're having a multi-story uh, development between us and them. So uh, trying to picture, it may not even be a, a pertinent question once the, the development goes in between us and them. But I just wanted to make sure it wasn't one of those huge, huge uh, signs. OK, I'll stay tuned. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Marceline, would you sign in, please, if you would? Um, is there anyone else wishing to speak over on here. this Marceline. item? To your, to your over here. Over do you need a pen? Here. She needs a pen. There's a pen over there, isn't there? I thought, I thought there was. Anyone else wishing to speak on this item? Seeing no one else, we'll close the public hearing. Commissioner Martin? Yes. Just a quick uh, clarification. Uh, the resolution and the conditions of approval uh, make a reference to plans dated May 19th. I would like that to be corrected. Uh, I'm sorry, plans dated April 4th. I'd like that to be corrected to May 9th. It's on page the first page of conditions of approval, 1B.
May 9th? Yeah, change that to May 9th. And on 1A1, it says staff report dated May 19th. That should read June 16th. I just I want to clarify that there will be no sign there are no signs as part of this master plan program on the south wall of the southernmost building. Is that not correct? That is correct. Which I imagine probably is a major concern in views from PPP. Mm -hmm. um, is there any comment or discussion from the commission? I actually I like uh, I like what's being proposed. I like the color. I think it's a, uh, it, if you stay within what you presented, I think it's going to be very positive. Uh, I would like to see a little more color in the, the Martin Group sign, but other than that, I think it's a, a well done. As I understand it, the color is in all cases uh, consistent with whatever the tenant's um, uh, corporate logo and signage would be, so, so that would be entirely dependent on who, who it is, as I understand it. But I, I think that they're very tasteful as well, and I would move approval. We have a second on that? Second. So motion by Troiding, second by Lutz. We can have a roll on that. Commissioner Kane? Aye. Commissioner Lutz? Aye. Commissioner Troiding? Aye. Vice Chair Jeffrey? Aye. Chair Martin? Aye. Five ayes. The application is approved. Thank you. Next item on the